Hello, good morning children. Today we are going to read our first chapter from computer which is computer hardware. Okay children. So let us read and understand. Okay. As I will read this chapter, okay, I will be explaining you. Okay. So I want you all to take out your computer book and follow whatever I am reading. Okay children. So let us continue. Okay. So, uh, computer hardware, okay. So, in this chapter, basically, we are going to learn about computer hardware, input devices, output devices, storage devices, and processing devices, okay, children. So, today, uh, my goal will be to complete you, uh, I mean, to teach you your uh, till input devices, which is till page number five, okay. And further, we will discuss slowly, slowly in our next videos. Okay, children. So, let us read it out. Okay. Uh, in here, they are saying, hello, kids. Okay. As in the previous classes, you have learned that computer is made up of different parts. Each device performs a special task. Okay. All these devices work together to make a computer system. Yes, children. Obviously, as you know, uh, a computer is not just a single unit okay it is made up of small small parts okay which functions all together and um, with the help of their individual functions that means their own functions a computer works isn't it so that is what is being said over here okay and this uh, whole system of parts which function together to um, make a computer work is actually known as computer systems okay children now the major parts of the computer are cpu keyboard mouse monitor speakers and printer yes if you can see over here in this figure okay you will find all of the parts which is uh, you can which you can use while using a computer or which will be required while uh, you while a computer works okay so over here if you see there is monitor over here if you see there is keyboard there is ram okay so this is inside a computer uh, cpu usually okay this is your optical disk drive motherboard hard disk cpu expansions card mouse and power supply so these are all parts of computer which when uh, assembled together helps the computer to work okay then this all components which you can see over here is actually known as computer hardware so why they are com why they are called computer hardware is because they are tangible means you can touch it okay okay children so any tangible or touchable things which you which is present in your computer is actually known as computer hardware okay children now uh, let me read it out okay now right now i'm going to read this okay so if you can see okay uh, in this chapter we will learn about all those hardware components that are used making a computer system more powerful as well as useful yes that means in this chapter we are going to read about your hardware things okay the things which is hardware or like the things which is hard or tangible in the computer which actually helps us uh, help the computer to function properly okay so now I have reached over here children okay so hardware components of computer system okay we are this is the heading of the topic now there are different hardware components required to make a computer system they can be broadly classified into four categories they are saying yes so there are four basic types of hardware components okay now what are they input devices okay then processing devices then output devices then storage devices okay children now uh, let us discuss these hardware components in detail that means they are the book says that let us discuss the hardware components in detail okay so first hardware component which they are discussing over here is input devices okay now if i ask you what is input okay so input means like whenever if you are actually in uh, like interacting with computer what actually we do is we actually just imagine if i am uh, moving 
the mouse okay or if i am typing anything in the keyboard okay so what i am actually doing is i am giving information to the computer so the information which i give to a computer is actually known as input okay so for giving any information to the computer we use various input devices so that input devices we are going to discuss now okay children okay so now let us read it out and let us understand this devices help us to input devices this devices helps us to enter data into a computer so as i said child we input information or when we put information so information in computer language is known as data okay children information in computer language is known as data so whenever we put any when just imagine if i'm writing my name in in a uh, in computer uh, in keyboard okay through computer if i through keyboard if i write my name okay so my name is actually the data which i am uh, providing to the computer so that it can show it in the monitor okay children now uh, we have already discussed about input devices in previous classes like keyboard mouse scanner etc but still there are some more input devices okay let's have a look on this device okay children so they are saying that we have already discussed about input devices in your previous classes which is in your class 4 okay so your keyboard mouse and scanner okay so they have already discussed in your class 5 uh, 4 they are saying okay so still they want us you us uh, you to know about more input devices okay children so the first input device they are showing over here is your webcam okay or web camera okay then second is your graphic table then microphone joystick okay then is your uh, barcode reader then is your uh, micr or magnetic ink character reader okay now what does that what are this all okay now let us read it out okay now webcam okay webcam uh, maybe you have seen in your computer okay webcam okay so this webcam actually help us to communicate with our friends just imagine if i'm using skype okay so i guess most of you know about it skype is actually a application which helps you to interact with someone through video calling okay so for video calling webcam is very very essential okay because webcam captures our video and through internet that video goes to your friend and their video also reaches you okay so webcam is very very uh, useful to capture images as well as videos okay children now second is your graphic table okay the second is your graphic table so if you look at this picture this is your graphic table so graphic table is used as pen and paper okay so um, <clears throat> now some in big big companies and all okay like if they want to input any data is very fast okay into computer what they do is they use this graphic uh, your uh, tab tablet okay so oh i have said table sorry children before i have said table it is tablet okay children so tablet is this graphic tablet is used to input data into the computer very fast using pen okay understanding got it child so it will be very simple you just imagine if this is if my this book is a gra graphic uh, tab tablet so i can use uh, a pen okay you they will provide with you the that time that pen is a bit different from normal pens okay so it actually works only on the computers that tablet screen so if you write just imagine if i want to write all the names of class 5 students i will write it very fast fast over there and i can save it into the tablet okay for my future use okay understanding uh, so it will get stored in the computer itself okay so that is how we can use graphic tablet okay uh, now uh, microphone okay so as i so uh, maybe you have already seen a microphone okay microphone actually helps to capture sound okay so right now i am talking to you okay why how i am able to talk with you because in my phone there is microphone okay so that microphone is capturing all my sound okay and it is recording in this video and that's the reason why you are able to listen whatever i am trying to say to you okay children so microphone is able to record sound okay children so that's why it is very very important okay now if you can see microphones uh, picture is like this okay 
Now, joystick. Okay, so as you know, children, these days uh, the world is very, very leaned towards your um, this thing, your gaming. Okay, so for gaming, we need uh, we need to interact with our uh, other gamer friends, isn't it? So for gaming, okay. So if you want to, let's imagine if you are playing any game. Okay, so if you want to perform, if your character wants to perform, if you want your character to perform certain things just imagine if you want to your ca character to kick so you have to press x button if you have played um, ps3 or ps4 maybe you will know children okay so you will have to play you have to just press the buttons isn't it so that is actually a joystick okay so in older days joystick used to be like this okay but these days we have joystick which is like this okay we have to touch it i think so uh, right now i'm not able to show you the picture but you have maybe seen it you have to hold it like this and you have to play okay in in my time it used to have wire but these days it is more advanced okay these days we don't have wire also in it. okay so then so uh, now if you go to shops okay so i think so uh, uh, some local children who live here only okay they have went to prakriti shop okay so if you go to prakriti or any departmental shop okay like in city center or any like in big bazaar and all okay so when you buy something what actually they do uh, there is some barcode okay like uh, let me show you an instance okay uh, i don't have anything which has barcode let us see if i have barcode over here uh, yes see this pen is having a barcode this is actually a barcode okay children this is actually a barcode okay so with the help of your uh, barcode reader what actually we can do is we can scan this barcode and in this barcode the information about the price of this marker pen is actually inscribed or it has already been preloaded okay so whenever i scan with the barcode on that bar uh, barcode reader on that barcode but actually the barcode will give information to the barcode is the about the price and that price will go to the uh, what the ship uh, into the computer and the shopkeeper can easily uh, make a bill for you okay children so barcode is very very uh, barcode reader is very very important in big big departmental show where they want to do the sum of the uh, things faster okay that means they if you want if they want whatever things which you have bought if they want to tell you how much is the cost of what you have bought okay so to do it faster they use barcode reader okay children now another thing is your micr reader okay so maybe again why if you go to any departmental show also just imagine if you have if your parents have not carried cash Sometimes what they do is they give their credit card or their debit card. Okay, so what they now that they, the shopkeeper what they do is they run it the they run the credit card or your uh, debit card into a swipe machine. Okay, so what is this swipe machine actually? The swipe machine is actually MICR or you can say magnetic ink character reader. Okay, so as you know in our ATM or you can say debit card or your uh, uh credit card there is a black magnetic strip okay so in that magnetic strip the information about the account holder in the bank is already inscribed okay so you just have to run the uh, card through the micr okay and the micr will fetch all the account holders information and you can put your amount okay or the charges which the shopkeeper is asking you and they can then you can easily transact your money okay without any cash okay children so micr is very very important to read the debit card or credit card or any kinds of card which has money in it okay child got it child so very simple okay so mirc in here they are defining is used to read magnetic in characters yes in the magnetic strips of debit card there is magnetic in characters and all okay for example check number on the banks Check. yes obviously in the bank check not only in the banks check okay uh, uh, it is used for atm uh, i mean in case of uh, debit as well as credit card also children okay so today uh, we will be reading till this much okay 
in our next class we will be learning more okay so uh, what i want you people to do as your class work is i want you to um, make the diagram of monitor okay i want you to make the diagram of monitor okay then cpu okay and mouse okay these three things you have to make in your uh, in your school uh, school class work copy okay computer cpu and mouse you don't have to make any other things only computer cpu and mouse okay children so that will be your class work and i will be seeing that you have to show me show the diagram of these things in your uh, before four o'clock in the evening today okay children okay so today we close for this much thank you